Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a full hair care routine. Um, so I uploaded like my last video was of my hair transformation. So ever since I got my hair done, I have been really excited to style my hair more often. I really needed some inspiration. Um, to kind of like part my hair in the middle and style it every day so I've definitely been more motivated to do that with my new color so I thought I would do a full hair care routine video so let's go ahead and get started okay so first I just washed my hair um, since I got my hair done I've been washing my hair um, every once in a while but not too much just because I don't want to damage it too much but um, maybe three times a week so I bought this purple shampoo I just got it from the grocery store it's L'Oreal Ever Pure Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, the Matrix one I heard is really good and I was going to go to Ulta and get it but I didn't feel like it and I was at Publix so I picked these up. They looked pretty good. I've been using that twice just to keep from my hair getting brassy. And then even before I had my hair colored I used the It's a Tin Leave-In Conditioner. And then I, I spray that all through my hair once I get out of the shower and then brush through it. So the first step today is going to be blow drying. So I'm just using this cheap Conair blow dryer. I've had it forever. Sometimes I did another video with the round brush blow drying. Um, I like that sometimes if I'm not going to style my hair afterwards. But since I am going to style my hair afterwards, I'm just going to rough dry it with this. And then we're going to curl it. So I'm going to dry Another good thing about drying it is it gives you all this volume so I feel like it's mostly dry it might be a tiny bit damp but it feels pretty dry so I'm just going to brush out all the tangles it looks very nice and smooth now it feels super clean and that um, it's a tin leave-in conditioner is really good too because it's like a heat protector so if you are styling and blow drying your hair it's really good for protecting against all that heat. Okay, so like I said, I've been parting my hair in the middle a little bit, um, maybe a little off center, but right now it just fell to the middle, so I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so now it's time to style. So I invested in a new curling iron. Um, this is the T3 World Trio curling iron. Um, before that, I had been using like a really cheap bedhead TG curling iron from Ulta and it was fine it works good but the barrel was really big so it just didn't hold very well and then sometimes I would use a one inch Conair curling iron so I felt like I was due for a new curling iron so I invested in this one I bought it from Sephora it was expensive so you definitely don't need a super expensive curling iron like I said I've been using a really cheap one for years but I decided that I wanted a nice new one. So what's cool about this one is that it has three different like sizes. So you just turn it, I don't want it to turn on. So you just turn it, it's already getting hot. Um, and you take the top off and it came with a little bag to keep all of your things in there. And so we have this one, it's just a one inch. So I think that this one is one and a half, maybe. I don't think it looks like two inches. Um, so there's, that one or maybe it's one and a quarter I don't know and then like a wand type one so this would be for real tight curls which I'm not crazy about on my hair but every now and then or if I'm doing someone else's hair um, this one does really really pretty soft waves so I've liked how that looks today I want to do a little bit more curl that way it holds overnight and I don't have to do it again tomorrow so I'm going to use this one inch wand so I'm just going to plug it in here and then you twist it to lock it and you turn it on so it's going to heat up and it heats up really fast okay so it's already heated up so i am going to start from the front i used to divide my hair when i curled it but i just do it all at once now so i start with like a little one inch section in the front just the bangs and i'm going to wrap it around and the trick that i have is not to twist it 
you want to lay it flat like the first two goes around and then you can twist the ends. So see I'm curling up and away from my face and I have it, my hair flat on the curling iron. Then you kind of feel the hair if it's hot. And then you get like that. So that's like a super tight curl. Obviously I'm going to brush it through when I'm done. But I just do that all the way around with pretty much the same size pieces. Um, I kind of do some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces just to make it look a little more natural. And then sometimes I don't lay it flat, I'll just twist it just so that every piece doesn't look the exact same. But I just do this all the way around until I'm in the middle of the back and then I'll switch to the other side. side finished left side for me um, and it's so curly right now so obviously I'm gonna brush it all out at the end but this curling iron is really good and I only have to hold it on there for like three seconds so we're gonna go to the other side so like I said I do one half on each side so like away from my face and so you can see I went to the middle here so then I have all this left. We do the same thing on the other side, but we're going the other direction this time because you want to go away from the face. So I'm taking piece in the front, and I kind of want it to like be a mirror, you know, like I want it to look the same on both sides. So doing what I did, like flattening out onto the curling iron. This side's a little bit harder though because I have to like turn my hand like this, so. We have like two perfectly almost symmetrical curls. So then you just keep doing that. but when we brush them out it'll kind of like elongate it again through it with my fingers and shake it out a little bit because right now the curls are like very Shirley Timbley and I don't really want like ringlet curls like this but you do want to wait until all the pieces are cooled and set before you brush your hands through it because if you run through it before the curls are set they're not gonna hold as long so these front pieces and this whole side is cooled down, but the back where I just did isn't quite cool yet. These, by the way, sparkly ice. I have become addicted to them. The blueberry, the pomegranate blueberry is the best one. They've made me drink so much more water than I normally drink. It's just flavored sparkly water. No sugar, lots of vitamins. They taste so good, I'm addicted. Okay. So this is pretty much... Okay, so it feels like it's all cool. So, I'm gonna run my fingers through. Okay, so see how much, like, longer, a little bit longer it got on that side?
So the idea is to have like big soft bouncy curls, which is looking good so far. You can even take a brush or a comb if you want, but I feel like if I do that, it'll be too um, brushed there. I don't want to like lose all my curls. I'm just kind of shake through it. And then, like throughout the day, whatever you're doing, they will fall out more. Um, but so like right now they're still like pretty curly but it will fall out more and the last step i would do is spray hairspray in it but i don't have any hairspray and i'm not a huge fan of hairspray but i do plan on buying some as soon as i like do some research and find one that's not crunchy and lasts long but for now my hair does pretty well staying and holding the curl and if it doesn't i just touch it up whenever i can but um this is the final look of how I have been like doing my hair since I got it colored. Um, I have curled it a few times and it's been less than a week so I'd say so far it's motivated me to curl my hair more. Right here as you can see my hair in natural light so so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I've, I've been really feeling like a new person since I got it redone. So yep, yeah, that is my full hair care routine as of right now with my new blondish hair and motivation to curl it and my new products and styling tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.